Hey, this is Dave at DA Griffin Hobby. Today, uh, since I'm ignoring other projects that I should be working on, like the Santa Fe F3 units, I'm going to dive into this Fairbanks Morse Train Master, the Lackawanna 2321 from Lionel. Uh, I just really want to see what it looks like inside of there. I've never taken one of these apart, so let's take a look. As far as I know, the shell is just held on by a screw on each end which have a bad tendency to split the shell. I don't know how hard it is to find one of these without the damaged shell, but I'm not looking for a collector item, I'm just looking for something around, so. There we go. So, the shell, they always crack right here from being over-tightened. Too much stress, it should have been reinforced from the factory or something with a piece of metal in there. Might not be a bad idea to put a piece of metal in there now keep it from cracking anymore. So, let's see, what's this look like? Ooh. Yuck, check out all the rust in here. Battery corrosion, whatnot. It's a lot of corrosion in here. One way or another. Uh, I need to try to clean up the frame. Maybe I'll paint it, maybe I won't. Depends how clean I can get it. Um, if I have to sand it down, I will paint it. I mean, I knew there was some corrosion based on the bottom here. I mean, that's a telltale sign of a battery being left in there and messing up the metal. I knew it was there, so I'm not concerned. Right now, I just want to take a look at the components of the engine itself. Looks like I need to replace some wires. There's one screw on the bottom of each truck, one there, one there. You release that screw and the motor should pull right off of the truck frame. Nope, oh, there we go. There's definitely built up a little grease in there. So, and there's a lot of dirt and grease in the gears, so I'm going to end up cleaning all that out of there. I guess it's the power wire coming up from the pickup. It's nice that it's a screw. You can remove it without cutting a wire. I like that. This is one of those insulators you have to make sure you keep track of, otherwise you'll end up with a short. Oh, there you go. So that's nice. So the whole, the collector just falls off when you take that screw out, so that's, that makes it real easy to clean. If you want to clean the wheels, you want to take the side frames off. It pulls off. There's even junk up here. Old grease. It's pretty hard. No, I'm not familiar with this because I've never taken one of these apart, as I said, but there's a groove here. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if something's been rubbing for a while, but interesting. I'll have to see if that's on the other pieces. It's on this one too, so maybe that's just cut for clearance. Oh, I thought that was plastic, but it is not. It's definitely cast. You can see here the two set of flanged wheels and the one unflanged to allow it to go around tight curves. They all three, if all three of them had uh, flanges, you'd derail all the time. Um, well, let's go ahead and take the coupler off. Careful not to lose anything. You got the clip, a washer, spring, a tab there, and the coupler. Yeah, that's a lot of dirt in there. So there we have the truck taken down to about as basic as we need to do a service at this point, you know, I mean, if you want to pull wheels off, you know, fine, but I don't see it as being necessary. I mean, unless you're repairing a bent axle or something. Or if you want to just get everything spotless. But this is a runner, so I, I bought this to run around the layout and 
Pullman trans, so it doesn't need to be pretty on the inside. There's definitely a lot of built up gunk in her. This is not lubricating anything at this point. It's like wax almost. Now, if the wheels wouldn't turn or if I felt binding or there was rust in here, I might put this in um, a container and fill it with uh, WD-40, let it soak. Uh, cleans all that up real nice. Whoever wired that in did not do it with consideration towards uh, somebody having to take this apart later. Never want to run wires through each other that will end up being in your way. Right. This is quite a setup here. I don't think I would do that. I definitely want an insulator on there just to prevent any issue. But uh, again, a lot of hardened lubricant in there. And while it wasn't really causing an issue, the thing ran pretty good. It's not good to leave like that. So this will be a good time to go through and clean everything. I am going to soak that to get all the hardened lubricant out there. I'm going to take the motor apart, remove the clip on this side, pull the motor out, clean the shaft, and everything else in there. Clean the brushes and the commutator face and get that all working well. I'll do that on both motors. I'll clean both trucks. Uh, let's see what the E unit looks like. So this is definitely going to rewire this whole thing because this makes it very difficult to inspect or service or clean. Okay, well the E unit's pretty clean in there. I can't really show you without bending the wires out of the way, but everything works nice. The drum is pretty clean. Uh, since I've got it apart, I will clean that anyway. Put the screw back in there so I don't lose it. Okay, so this whole setup back here is the same as the front. So I am going to remove the truck so that I can get to the screw for the horn. And I'm just going to put this back together too so all the pieces stay together. It might take a little longer to assemble and disassemble, but is this way there's no confusion. With that truck removed, we can get to the screw for the horn. I don't know that this is brackets going to come out with all the rot in there. I don't know that's still a screw at this point. They might have to be cut out. So anyway, that is the inside of the 2321 Lackawanna FM Trainmaster. Uh, this is a kind of an icon of the post-war era. This engine pulls like crazy. It, it's very strong, a very good puller. And it's huge, which is neat because it's, it's so much bigger than all my steam engines or other diesels. So, okay, that's the inside of the Trainmaster. We have the two motors, the E unit, the relay for the horn and the horn itself, as well as two lights, one at either end. Uh, we got the trucks separated. Uh, I'm gonna take those apart and clean those all up. And then we have the problem area that is this frame here. I don't know if I'm going to drill this bracket out or just try to clean everything up. Um, I don't really use the horn, but I feel like I should keep it in there and keep it functional. So I guess I will put the, all those pieces back in. So I definitely have to clean that up and get that much better than it is. So stay tuned. Hopefully this won't be too long of a project. I'll get it back together and make another video. Until then, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for dealing with this corrosion on the frame. And see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.